So in unit two of module one, we're gonna talk about risk management. And fundamentally, so much of what we do in product development comes back to risk management. We've got to think about what risks do we care about right now? What risks are we gonna to have to care about in the future? What are the probabilities of those risks materializing? What's the economic impact if they materialize? Which ones are we gonna care about? How are we gonna prioritize those risks? How can we measure them? How can we find out if they materialize and how can we mitigate them? So this is a foundational skill. There's a popular framework for thinking about risk management uh, that comes from this book, uh, Waltzing with Bears, which is a book about managing risk in software projects. Uh, they talk about uh, measuring risk and risk management in terms of these five phases. First of all, we think about risk discovery. How are we going to find out or come up with ideas for risks that we should care about. So first of all, come up with a bunch of ideas um, about the risks that might happen in our product. Secondly, we're going to quantify those risks. So there's a very simple formula for quantifying risk, which is that you take the probability of the risk materializing between zero and one, and you take the impact of the risk in financial terms if the risk materializes. So how much is it gonna cost us if that thing actually happens? And then you multiply the probability by the impact and then you've got a dollar value for the risk. You're not gonna get that precisely right. Uh, you're gonna have an estimate of that. But as with a lot of activities, the crucial bit is actually thinking about the assumptions that you make as you estimate the probability and the impact. And then for risks that we really care about, what we'll go and do is validate those assumptions by running experiments, gathering data, doing research. So you don't need to get that, those numbers for your risks exactly right straight away. We're gonna estimate them. And then what we're gonna do is prioritize them. Then we've got to think about what happens if the risks materialize. Um, that's our contingency planning. What are we actually gonna do? And crucially, you wanna make sure that you're not spending more money on the mitigation than you're spending on the actual risk. And this is another reason why it's important to quantify risks. Um, if it's gonna cost, if a particular risk is gonna cost you half a million dollars, you shouldn't spend more than half a million dollars trying to mitigate it. It puts an upper bound on the amount of money you should spend on mitigation. Then, Mitigation means making sure that the planned contingency actions will work. And then you have to do ongoing monitoring. You have to track those risks. You have to look for materialization. You have to mitigate risks if they do actually materialize. And then you've got to continue to discover new risks because risks might change over the life cycle of your product. I mean, they definitely will change over the life cycle of your product. Um, and so you've got to continue to find new ones and uh, update your estimates and update your plans on an ongoing basis. One way to discover risks and to perform a discovery exercise is to use what's called a risk matrix. So in a risk matrix, what we do is we plot impacts, the dollar amount that we pay if the risk occurs on the y-axis and the probability on the x-axis. So this is a way of modeling risks visually. And if you're doing a discovery exercise to try and work out what risks you should care about, you can actually draw this up on a whiteboard or uh, stick it up on a chart on the wall. And then you can invite people to brainstorm risks. Uh, what we would do here is we would give everybody sticky notes and on the sticky notes, you would write a risk uh, that you care about, one risk per sticky note. Uh, then everyone goes and does that for a few minutes on their own. And then we stick them on the risk matrix in the right quadrant. Um, top left for low probability, high impact risks, bottom right for high probability, low impact risks. And then once we spent a few minutes brainstorming and sticking them on the risk matrix, then you can have a discussion as a group to think about um, which ideas are actually high probability, high impact. You might move some of them around. Um, and then you can focus on the high probability, high impact risks. This might be the point at which you have a discussion as to, you know, are our estimates for relative impact and probability good? Uh, what assumptions have we made? Let's record those assumptions. Um, and then for the high probability, high impact risks, uh, and indeed for the low probability, high impact risks, we might then go and uh, gather some more data to uh, more, accurate, more accurately quantify those numbers. So, 
That's an example of a discovery exercise you could do as a product manager to think about the risks for your product. And that's the kind of exercise you would do on an ongoing basis. You're gonna keep a log of your risks um, and you're gonna obviously record your mitigation strategies and uh, if they materialize, you're gonna put into practice your mitigation strategies, but you're gonna do a discovery exercise on an ongoing basis you know, every month or every few months, depending on how much things are changing. Uh, to make sure that's up to date.